says I'm still in love with you, huh? <laughs> That's funny. Is it funny? Yeah, well, it's just the first draft, you know. You see, wait till I rough out the next chapter. Uh, Heroin takes a machine gun and mows down half the town. Edmund. It's fiction, Rook. All right? Fiction comes from here. Not you. If anything, I ripped off Wuthering Heights. You know, it's pretty gutsy of you. You come waltzing in here, you sneak a peek at my blood, sweat, and tears, and you want to take credit for it. Look at the heroin. You know how egotistical you sound? A great beauty in anyone's eyes. She was, in a word, remarkable. Oh, that's got to be me. Give me a break. I mean, did you see a title page here? Do you see Brooke Karenina or the importance of being Brooke? What do you think? Everything I write has got to be about your life? I couldn't stand it if you still felt that way about me. Oh, there you go again. Who asked you to worry about me? The story that you've written. The woman. The woman. It's not you, Brooke. Okay, it's not you. You're happy, right? I mean, you have the man and the... And the and the child and the family that you always wanted, right? I mean, you obviously made the right choice. This poor woman here, this poor woman has is, is, is done the exact opposite. Exactly. Exactly. What? It seems like this is your fantasy. My fantasy? That Tad and I are on the verge of splitting up. Look. I'm not sorry that I read this. I did. But I don't like to think of you in pain. I hate that. And I thought you understood. Edmund, please, let go. It's really time. It's time to let go. Don't you feel sorry for me? You wouldn't dare. I don't feel sorry for you. I just want you to let go for both of us, for both of our sakes. Why do you care? Huh? You're so happy. What is it with you? Because I do care. But Tad and I are happy, and it just breaks my heart to see that you're holding on to a dream that we had. Because Tad and I are not splitting up. That's not going to happen. and I are having a baby. Not yet, but soon, hopefully. Congratulations. Is it um, appropriate to offer best wishes in advance? You don't have to do that. No, I, I, I want to congratulate your, your whole family. Um, you all deserve the, the bet. I can't do this. Then don't do it. No, I, this is good. I need this. This is, this is a good scalding dose of reality. This is real. You're not about to run off with a man who grooms your horses. This should be called, uh... Brooke in Edmund's Wonderland. I never meant... I don't feel bad, Brooke. You were right. About everything. Every page... was a love letter to you. I don't want to be right. I just want you to be happy again. Really, Edmund, if I had the power to give you everything that you wanted in life, I would do it.
be right. I just want you to be happy again. If I had the power to give you everything that you wanted in life, I would do it. The reality, Brooke, is we create our own reality. We can make of our lives what we want. We can be together again. You're right. Some things don't go away no matter how hard you try to make them go away. So you just have to find room in your heart for some of those things and you keep them there and, and you work around them. It's too late for us, I know that. You know, but there's something in me, there's something perverse that just keeps me... Um, look, I'm sorry that I tried to force you before and uh, saying that you still... But for a minute there, I saw something in your eyes from the past, some, some love. And if it was there, then maybe that's good, Brooke. I mean, it felt good, but it's not enough. Edmund, the past is a memory. Today is what counts. Right. Learn from the past and move on, right? Like you did. I mean, you, you put it behind you, and that's, that's good. I'm trying. I'm just not um, as successful. I guess I'll have to try harder. Maybe I'm not as successful as you think I am. It's still there, Edmund. I still love you, too. Where is she? I need to see her. She's, uh, in there. Edmund's office. Mm -hmm. Well, well. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll see them both. Yeah, then. now, Phoebe, let's give them a break. They're in there making a valiant attempt at working something out. I think they need a little privacy. Privacy? To work what out? Oh, yes, I see that. What we used to call in my day the, the smoldering embers of an undying flame. Phoebe, this delusion you have about Brooke and your boy wonder in there is simply that, a delusion. Plain and simple, never gonna happen. Because you and Brooke are so gloriously happy in your perfect marriage. That about covers it. Oh, talk about delusions. Dear boy, Edmund is a very passionate, very persuasive man, and nobody knows it better than Brooke. Brooke, I know it's painful, but are you thinking of leaving Tad? No? You just said you still love me. And I will. Always. But it doesn't change anything. And it's not going to change anything. Because when Tad came back, I made a choice. We all made choices. I chose Tad. We chose each other. And I love him, Edmund. I do. And we're trying to make a family together. We're trying to make a life. And even though I might be sad at what you and I lost, I don't have any regrets about Tad. What if he hadn't come back? What then? Look, I... I can't. 
can't read fortunes, and I, I'm not a palm reader. You were starting to trust me again, Brooke. Okay? Okay, look, I might have screwed up along the way, but we were headed in the right direction, and then he came back. And you were forced to make a choice. You didn't choose Tad. You chose for Jamie. You wanted the best for your son. You wanted his real father. Now, that was the deciding factor, wasn't it? What if... No more what ifs. It's useless at this point, all right? The curtain is down. The audience went home a long time ago. Look, I'm sorry. It hurts me, too, and that's why I'm not going to pick it apart anymore. Something good and true is gone now. And in the long run, in my opinion, I think it's best for all of us. Okay. If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. You know that last letter I wrote you? Well, that said it all. No more letters. Verbal notice good enough? Are you leaving? As soon as I clear out my desk. Edmund, why? In my opinion, it's best for all of us. I wish... You wish, I wish. Doesn't make any difference. That's it. It's only one thing I want. That's for you to be happy. Always. I want that for you, too. on Hillary's uh, health plan is around here somewhere. I'll, uh, I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. I'll come by for uh, the other stuff some other time soon. Okay. So long. I just wanted to say that if you change your mind for whatever reason, you know you're always welcome back here. Thanks. I'll be ready for lunch in uh, two minutes, okay? You're leaving us, Edmund? Excuse me. Edmund, you promised Phoebe, you don't stay. even start with me. There's nothing to say. You know, it's always hard to let go of somebody you love. You're not angry. Should I be? I got all over you, Tad, about the same things. Dixie, I'm a hypocrite. Why don't you just say it? Uh, now, come here. Do you remember what happened the last time I held you like this in this office? You asked me to marry you. Mm -hmm. 
And what did I promise you? A lifetime full of wonderful adventures. Uh-huh. And so far, we've had no honeymoon. Palmer had a heart attack in our living room. And you're living with your mother-in-law. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Listen, every day with you is a wonderful adventure. I asked you to share your life with me on a hunch. And it was a damn good one. Now here we are, barely two months after the fact, walking on eggshells because our families think we're nuts. And our ex-lovers can't seem to let go. You know what I said? That's their problem. Because we did let go. Or chose to. We chose to walk away from the past, away from stress and disappointment, frustration, and grab a hold of each other for dear life, because that's what we both want. A life. One that's filled with happiness, and passion, and children. We made that choice. You know what? I don't care if the, the odds are stacked against us, I'd do it again. Because that's what I want. But if you don't, if in your heart you can't get over what you had with Edmund Gray, then I've got to know. It'll be okay. And I'll kiss you one last time. Don't start crying. I'm sorry. You gotta answer the question. If our next kiss is our last kiss, Dad, I will die. Good answer.